So once you get to the end of the project, you need to cast off. And I'm gonna show you my favorite way to cast off. It is certainly not the only way or the best way for every project, but this is just a really simple way to cast off any project with a nice stretchy edge. So I've worked a few rows of garter stitch here, and so I'm going to do a knit row casting off. So I'm gonna start by knitting two stitches. And then I'm going to take my left needle and go through the front of both of these stitches on my right needle. And then I'm going to knit as I normally would. So I go around here and then pull through just like that. So now you can see instead of two stitches, I just have one. And you're basically just going to continue that all the way down. So I'm gonna knit another stitch so that I have two stitches on my right needle. Then I'm going to insert my left needle into the front of those stitches. And then I'm going to yarn around as if I were knitting normally and then pull that through all the way. So knit one, insert through those two on your right needle, yarn around and knit those together. I'm about halfway down my row now, and this is what the cast off looks like from the top edge. So it's a really nice clean edge, and it's very, very stretchy. So the advantage of this kind of cast off, as opposed to some other knit cast offs, is that it leaves you with a nice stretchy edge, which especially if you're making garments is really useful. And I think it leaves a nice shape at the top as well. So I'm going to cast off until I get to the last stitch, and then I'll show you what to do there. So I've gotten to my last stitch. I'm going to knit and do the same thing that I've been doing to cast off here, where I knit these two together. Now I have one loop on my needle and I'm just going to take my scissors and cut the end of the yarn here and then pull the yarn through and tighten it up. And now I have a nice little square that is stretchy on both edges. It has a nice clean cast on and a nice cast off. And that is it. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like the video. I'm doing a series right now on beginner knitting and I'm hoping to do a beginner crochet series just after that. All of the video topics I got as suggestions from my Instagram followers. So if you want to be a part of suggesting ideas for future videos, then make sure to give me a follow on Instagram at Made in the Moment. But that's all I have for you and have a great rest of your day. Bye.